Okay, we're going to start again. Um, in the middle of all, all of this, um, creating a crafty life, I got, we had a swap, and it was a tag swap, and we were to use the Prima dolls, and um, so this one is, it's one of the smaller ones, and I think it's absolutely charming. And But the only thing is, I don't have, um, I don't, I'll have to look to see what girls were in the swap and then just eliminate all the ones that... And, and another thing I feel so badly about is that there was something right here, and I don't know what it was, but it is, um, it is broken off, whatever it is. And then here's a tiny little sign, and um, it, it, I think that it says... Um, Oh, I had read it. Anyway, it's wishing you a blooming day. A bloom, a day full of blooming happiness. And the, down here is a little owl. Um, her feet are... I, her shoes, actually. There they are. There it is. You can see it now. And the little owl is that way. You know, I have a feeling this little owl is a shrinky dink. And I have some... Um, I don't even know, but what maybe this is a shrinky dink that she stamped and then shrunk down to put on the little tag with the with the little girl. But I have some, and I haven't used it in ages, so thank you very much for the inspiration to get it out and get some use out of my shrinky dink. Then this next one, and I'm not going to take them out for you, um, and this is... Uh, Prima Doll Swap, CCL. This is from Louise. And I love the paper, Louise, that it's on. And she is just beautiful. Do you see this little bird? Butterfly at the top. And she has those gorgeous wings. I don't have the wings. Oh, okay. I don't have the wings. I, as a matter of fact, I have two Prima Dolls now. Um one that I was given so generously as a gift and one that I actually won. And look at this big crocheted flower down here. Then with lace and then a small rosebud in the center. Beautiful. And I want you to see on her shoes where the straps would be. There, oh, I've got a bad glare. Um, there are little pearls right there. So thank you very much. This is absolutely darling. And then I have another one. I really think this is charming. And this is from Nancy. If you can see her tag. I, I got the light is a little strange down here. But anyway, this is from Nancy. And take a look at this. This is all done in black and white and silver. Very stunning. And then pearls down here at the bottom with some lace very 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 pretty now there's a little um green at her waistband and then again at her headband um that is sparkly that really sets it off with a, a piece of bling here on her hair and then the little black flower with the center very very stunning I, black and white is always very classy don't you think and then I have, who is this from? This is created by Char. And again, more beautiful color. Um, I'm, I'm loving this teal. Um, and it seems to be m m more and more of it. Um, it says cheers. See those in the, in the little tickets over there. We got some um, summer drinkage <laughs> and a little flower down here. Down here, she's got a part of it's actually paper um, cut, uh, looked like a doily at first, with a little bling in the center, and then here at her hip, a little more bling. And I just love these flowers, and I'm thinking that they are really homemade. Um, this one done in the circle of uh, fabric um, this is done with ribbon and you know that's and this is done with a uh, um, I can't think of it right now it um, ugh, mash uh, not mash uh, I'll think of it later 
you know, my disconnect between my brain and my mouth. Um, but I'm, I'm thinking every one of those flowers is homemade. So that's absolutely darling. Thank you so much. And then the last one is such a cutie. Such a cutie. Let's see. No, it's not on there. So let's see. Yep, it is on there. And it's Christy. Thank you, Christy. Look at that top. I love that. Love, love, love that. And here she is. Isn't she cute? And she's got a little gold bling in her hair and around her waist. And, of course, she is in Paris. How super is that? Wouldn't we all like to be there? Sweet. It says, I believe, sweet, beautiful life, I think it is. Boy, it would be in Paris. And look at this, the beautiful lace down at the bottom. And again, using that teal color, it's extremely popular now. And I really, really like it. But anyway, that's from the Creating the Crafty Life swap that we just finished up. Um, and I sent mine in for this month, but um, uh, for August, yeah. But I don't believe I'm going to be doing any September. Now I'm going to hide you for a minute because um, I don't want you to get sick. But I wanted to show you the um, fella's apron that I'm working on right here. Um, it's just a butcher style um, apron, and I'm doing the little chef. There's the little barber barbecue chef right there and then it has the two big uh it, it, no it's one big pocket right here and then i just stitch it down the center um so that it's actually two pockets uh, but it, it's just the butcher style uh apron for the guys um that i've been making and then i have also found some tricks i'm gonna put this in more in depth on um creating a crafty life in the sewing section too. I bought um, this from another YouTube buddy um, and I don't see her on anymore. I don't know where she's gone, but um, I bought this from her for a ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous price. Um, I mean, really ridiculous. And I use it just for my, um, just for my embroidery, and then I use my brother for my sewing. Um, but I have found that it's got some um, idiosyncrasies that, and this is so hard to see now because um, when you first, I this one is a mistake and it'll end up in my kitchen. Um, it ran out of uh, bobbin thread. When you first put the bobbin thread in, you can see the green real well up here, but when you come down here, look at those buttons are solid white. And what it's doing is it's drawing up the um, bobbin, the thread from the, the bobbin. So I have, ta I have taken some of the thread off of the bobbin. I've just not, it's just not as, um, just not as full. I, I I think that's what I was doing is I was just I was filling up the bobbin completely and for these machines I don't think they can handle it. Um, it isn't tension. It isn't my tension at all. It is uh, because here it is again. I started this and then stopped it right away. Um, now you see that it is all green. The stitching. I mean I didn't finish it because uh, it's just for my kitchen, but I just wanted to test it. After I took some of the, uh, um, oh, I'm going to shut off again. Hold on just a minute. Okay. After I um, uh, took some of the uh, thread off the bobbin at the bottom, then um, I noticed that that is the trick. It, it then picks up the color thread from the top. So, anyway, I was having just fits for a while because I couldn't figure out why. Um, I was not getting a good stitch at, at first, and then after a little while, 
um, I would start getting a good stitch again and well duh it, you know it would have to be something that I did just before getting the bad stitch but um, it took me a while to realize what the problem was so I'm not going to fill my white bottom and another thing that I ran into just today is uh, I just this afternoon is that I am using the um, this lightweight um, wash off um, stabilizer. I'm going to swing around again. So, and it just it comes off. Oh, hold on, it comes off like a breeze. Um, it is not a problem at all to uh, get it off where for most of these towels now I've been driving myself crazy because I've been using this thicker um, I bought my, like a package of these with like 25,000 of them in a package and they're just they're already pre-cut squares and I thought well that'll be nice but they are the devil I mean, it just takes me hours and hours to peel them off inside each one of these little intricate, you know, bits of my little men. And uh, it it's just too time consuming. I couldn't possibly charge anybody for my time. Um, so I decided today to try this material out. And of course, it will just wash away once I'm finished. And these are all washed up and, and, and pressed and ready to go. Um, but the next batch that I'm making, I'm using this um, because it. I was afraid it wouldn't be um, it wouldn't be stable enough for these thin um, flour sack, but it is. So there, um, I think I got everything in, and it only took me three starts and stops. So you guys, just um, hang on. I'll be back. I promise I will. I've been watching all of you as I've been sewing, and sometimes I only get to give you like a thumbs up, and then you have to move on to to the next one um, because I'm just. I'm working so hard and so fast to get ready for these shows. I've, we've only signed up for three this year. And then what's left, everything will go in my Zibit store um, right after the shows are over. So, anyway, that's my news. And I think that's everything I wanted to tell you. And hi to all of you, not just Sybil and Kimmer, but hi to all of you guys. And... Um, Hopefully, I'll be a little saner soon. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is Tilly signing off. Bye-bye for now.